I believe that each one of us decides to incarnate upon this planet at particular points in time and space. We have chosen to come here to learn a particular lesson that will advance us on our spiritual evolutionary pathway. One of the ways to allow the process of life to unfold for you in a positive, healthy way is to declare your own personal truths. Choose to move away from the limiting beliefs that have been denying you the benefits you so desire. Declare that your negative thought patterns will be erased from your mind. Let go of your fears and burdens. For a long time now, I have been believing the following ideas and they have worked for me. Everything I need to know is revealed to me. Everything I need comes to me in the perfect time-space sequence. Life is a joy and filled with love. I am loving and lovable and loved. I am healthy and filled with energy. I prosper wherever I turn. I am willing to change and to grow. And all is well in my world. I have learned that we don't always stay positive 100% of the time, and I include myself in this knowledge. As much as possible, I see life as a wonderful, joyous experience. I believe that I am safe. I have made it a personal law for me. I believe that everything I need to know is revealed to me, so I need to keep my eyes and ears open. When I had cancer, I remember thinking that a foot reflexologist would be very helpful to me. One evening I went to a lecture of some sort. Usually I sit in the front row because I like being close to the speaker. However, that night I was compelled to sit in the back row. And right after I sat down, a foot reflexologist sat next to me. We began to talk, and I learned that he even made house calls. I didn't have to look for him. He came to me. I also believe that whatever I need comes to me in the perfect time-space sequence. When something goes wrong in my life, I immediately start to think, all is well, it's okay, I know that this is all right, it's a lesson, it's an experience, and I'll pass through it. There is something here that is for my highest good, all is well. Just breathe, it's okay. And I do the best I can to calm myself so I can think rationally about whatever is going on. And of course, I do work through everything. It may take a little time, but sometimes things that seem to be great disasters really turn out to be quite good in the end, or at least not the disasters that they seem to be in the beginning. Every event is a learning experience. I do a lot of positive self-talk, morning, noon, and night. I come from a loving space of the heart, and I practice loving myself and others as much as I possibly can. My capacity to love expands all the time. What I do today is much more than I was doing six months or a year ago. I know a year from now my consciousness and my heart will have expanded and I'll be doing even more. I know that what I believe about myself becomes true for me, so I choose to believe wonderful things about myself. There was a time when I didn't, so I know I have grown and I continue to work on myself. I also believe in meditation. To me, meditation is when we sit down and turn off our dialogue long enough to hear our own inner wisdom. When I meditate, I usually close my eyes take a deep breath and ask, what is it I need to know? I sit and listen. I might also ask, what is it I need to learn? Or what is the lesson in this? Sometimes we think we're supposed to fix everything in our lives, and maybe we're really only supposed to learn something from the situation. I remember when I first began to meditate, I had violent headaches for the first three weeks. Meditation was so unfamiliar and against all my usual inner programming. Nevertheless, I hung in there and the headaches eventually disappeared. 
If you are constantly coming up with a tremendous amount of negativity when you meditate, it may mean that it needs to come up. And when you quiet yourself, it starts to flow to the surface. Simply see the negativity being released. Try not to fight it. Allow it to continue as long as it needs to. If you fall asleep when you meditate, that's all right too. Let the body do what it needs to do. It will balance out in time.